Sarasota, as the cultural capital of Florida, enjoys all of the arts right there. Most of them are within, within walking distance. And so they also have a new Bayfront project that they're doing. They're bringing in civil planners from all over the world. They have big plans for that 60-acre project right on Sarasota Bay. So this location in proximity to that is really going to be ideal. What do you see happening and what's the momentum of, that's occurring with these new buildings um, being constructed in Sarasota? Well, I think, I think everybody's still coming. We're still very popular here. I think Sarasota is, is blazing a nice trail right now. You know, the word is out on Sarasota, we're no longer the sleeping giant, you know, we've awakened. And, uh, and I think that it's challenging people like Kurt, who is, is so very capable and amazing, to come and, and show his talents in our area, and I welcome that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, for the longest time, Sarasota has been overlooked, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier, we are the arts capital of the state of Florida. And no other town or city has as many live theaters, symphony, orchestra, ballet. I mean, we have it all here, opera, we have it all here. And it used to be local uh, developers, but now we're getting more and more national and international developers that are coming here and building. And there are so few spaces that are left. And so those locations that are being built, these developers are going in big. Right. And they're really bringing great architecture and great design and amenities into the buildings that are being created. It's an exciting time.